Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Don't know if that's going to be a help or a hindrance, really. Just kill him already, gold sakes. What else? What else? What else? How is he still up? Can't even see any red in his health. Of course he dodged it. Of course he did. God's sake. Right, come on. Just as the other one died, a new one rises. Right. Let's give ourselves a bit of a heal on for her. Why is it so goddamn dark all of a sudden? It's because I made it rain.
Right, we're too far away from this dude now. We're also getting a bit tight for room here. his turn shortly. Is that going to hit Wargraf or not? <laughs> oh, he's, he's full anyway. Alright, let's see if we can get the knockdown on him. Oh, he's already down, is he? He is as well. Alright. I think we've made it, folks. I think we've just about made it. What? How come he's up? Uh, well, I figured that might happen. A stitch in time, eh, my friends? Oh, it's so close. Come on. Nice! 19,000 XP! I love it! Was that 190,000 XP in fact? Wolfram urges you to search the dead Immaculate's body. The foul creature wouldn't talk, but perhaps his corpse may reveal information still. Well, before we do that, I think we'll have a quick save. Jesus Christ! Bloody hour-long fight! <laughs> well, probably because I'm rubbish, but you know. Still, we managed to do it. Had to save Wargraf about 25 million times. Uh, right, so we've got... Here we on here. Scarlet. I've got my eyes on the prize. Imal's research. A curse to be my mother for giving birth to a mute child. Perhaps if the wench had drunk a little less moonshine as she nursed me in her belly, I might not have been brought into this world with weak eyes, weak limbs, and no power in my vocal cords at all. Oh, hello. But I digress. After a long, after long last, I know the formula, the one that will give me the permanent, uh, will give me a permanent voice. No longer will I have to spell. Spell steel. Spell steel scraps of speech from rats and reindeer. Two ingredients are all I need, and a tea I'll brew me a potion that will awaken my sleeping throat. Uh, one boxwood, which we've just picked up. Oh, so rare. But I have found it. Cut it right out of the gnarly limbs of the rune-clad tree. I took it from you, you phantom forest. I have beaten you. Two, bottled voice. This one still eludes me. But it, too, must be found somewhere here in these damnable woods. There is, most probably, not a second one of its kind to be found on the plain of Rivalon. Once I have it, all I have to do is cram the boxwood into the bottle and it should instantly liquefy. The Temple of the Dead, that is where the bottled voice is to be found. In that place of most ancient alchemical rituals. That is all the conduit told me. She cares not for my quest. I know she'd like to squeeze me dry of blood and feed me to one of her star stones. I can't read tonight. No matter. Soon I will have a voice. No longer will I bring shame to the Immaculate by clucking like chicken when 
another spell wears off. Soon. But first, another bunny. Which is where we found him, I assume. Right, so we need to find the bottled voice. Fortune! <laughs> Excited! Some good items there by the looks of it, if we uh, identify them. Check the rest of the battlefield, perhaps. Although I don't know if these things ever had any... Uh, Because they were spiritual type beings, they might not have any things to drop. What have you got stashed in here, Mrs. Cottontail? Rabbit's poor amulet. Right, well I assume that, uh, well the log updated, so we have to find the temple. Look how many lo <laughs> how many quests we've still got to do. That's not that many, actually. We seem to have found a recipe for the potion that can cure a man's muteness. This could be Wargraf's shot to return his stolen voice. A miracle, if it actually works. Right. Well, there's no more to be had there. That is a dead end, isn't it? So we'll make our way back up. And back to the gate we go. So in the next part, we shall probably be taking on some of those invulnerable knights that we were... Well, we had come in here to fight because we've now got the spell, which is that one. So I'm assuming we have to cast it. That's a radius of 15 metres. I've given it to each of them anyway, but uh, you have to cast that and then you can damage them. And I shall once again save it here by this gate, and we will carry on in part 90. God, can you believe it? We're 10 away from 100. And I shall see you all in part 90. You guys take it easy. It has been an honor and a privilege serving for you again, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye.